How's it hanging, Freedom Partners? My name is Hoya, and welcome back to episode 4 of Freedom Flash Fridays. In the last episode, we made an awesome banner, but then I asked you all what you wanted me to make in Photopea. So taking your suggestions, let's look at the true power of Photopea by making a logo. Remember, if there's anything you want me to show off in Photopea, let me know in the comments down below. It can be as specific as Fortnite thumbnails, please no. Or it could be as general as a profile picture, a banner, a thumbnail, whatever it may be. I can do it and give tips along the way. But enough of that, let's get on to logo making. And here we are back in our good old friend Photopea. Now, if this doesn't look familiar for some reason, you most likely missed out on some of the last episodes, which I would suggest you go back and watch for tips and tricks about Photopea. But today, we're working on a logo. We've covered thumbnails, we've covered banners. Now we're going to take a look at logos. And logos are interesting. Logos can be used really anywhere on your channel, in advertisements, in your profile picture, in banners, and it can be important. For example, Freedom has its logo that you can find sprinkled everywhere. Well, we are going to be remaking the Freedom Flash Fridays logo in Photopea, which I've made myself. So, of course, we're going to go to New Project, and just to make it look pretty, I'm going to choose the HD selection like we did for the thumbnail again, make that resolution, 200 make the background transparent and here we are back again in our beautiful transparent layer you'll need a triangle and a circle now first we're going to take the circle we're going to center it make it a little bigger put it it's center just so just for easy measurement and those red lines that appeared will show you that it's center in the canvas so here you have a circle center in the canvas now you have your triangle, which you're going to want, and you can shape it, you can have it either direction, but I'm doing it this way just because that's how I did it originally. And then you want to take these and line them up with the circle. Now the triangle is going to be a little long, but that is fine. And boom, you have a circle with a triangle. Now of course, you might have an edge peeking out, so you don't want that, you want to hide that, and boom, you have a circle and a triangle. Well, this is nice and all, but what does it even mean? Well, we're going to want to take and merge all these layers. So select all these layers, not the background layer. Go and merge them. And boom, this is all one piece now. You don't have an individual circle or an individual triangle. Just one layer. You'll want to go to effects, go to stroke, and add a beautiful white stroke to it. Make the stroke a little thicker, just for funsies, and boom, you have a shape. Well, it's a nice shape and all, but what's the point of the shape? Well, <laughs> I'll get there. And since Photopea does not have any sort of guidelines, you can add rulers and you can add whatever, but it will not automatically tell you with red lines or green lines or whatever, like when you were centering it in the canvas, if this is equal. This looks about equal to me. I'm going to say it's equal. So then we're just going to go and erase that. And now you have these two shapes. Next, we have the Freedom logo itself. We don't want this here. So we're going to lower our size a bit. That's a little too small. Make sure that it's rasterized and then erase the F. And now we're just left with the word FREEDOM. Now that we have the word freedom, we can start moving around our shapes a little bit. You want to go to your layer of shapes and select one side, just one side. Move it over here, and we're going to line it up so that the top lines up there, and then this line will line up with the bottom of the F. Boom! That looks about good. Now for this one, this one's a little different. We're going to take it, and instead of just resizing it, we're going to flip it. We're going to flip it this way. Make sure that it snaps so it's straight, and we have this. Now, this does not look right. It's just a mirrored image upside down, isn't it? Well, that's true, and that's why we're going to take this side and drag it over here. And you'll see 
that it then mirrors the image. So now we have the opposite of that one. Then when you mirror it and line it up, about there looks good to me. And boom, you have all this perfectly lined up. Now, white on white isn't easy to see that Freedom logo, so we're going to want to go to a stroke again and add a nice little black stroke to it. And yeah, you don't have to have anything too thick, too thin, just right. And there we have Freedom inside of a circle with a triangle. But there's still more to come. We're going to go back and use our font tool, or as they call it, the type tool. We're going to go and we're going to click and it'll load text. Now we're going to type in flash and we're going to resize it just a bit, just so we can see it a little easier. Now this is a fine font and all, but it looks a little boring, doesn't it? It just looks kind of bland. Well, we're going to go back up here, get rid of deja vu and type in courier prime for this font. And this is the font that I used in Photoshop. All the fonts are the same, just under different names usually. Now, we're going to take this and resize it a bit so that it lines up with this. And as you can see on the flash, the white on white outline, or even with the circles, does not look that good. It's kind of hard to see how thick your outline actually is. So just get some color that isn't white or black or too bright or too dark and click, and then you can see all your outlines perfectly. And now for the final step, we're going to go down and make this say Fridays. But that's really long! So what do we do? We're just going to go and we're going to resize it a bit. We're going to go, move that about there, move this up a bit, got to fiddle with it to make sure that everything lines up perfectly as it should. And there you have it. Now you have Freedom Flash Fridays. And as you can see here, this, since there is no way unless you turn on the ruler and look perfectly, you can just go and make sure that they get lined up. And there you have it. The Freedom Flash Fridays logo. It's nothing too fancy. You don't want your logo to be too distracting from your channel art, whether it be thumbnails, banners, or whatever. If it's for your logo, that's fine because it, it should be the only thing in your profile picture. For example, on the Freedom Channel, there's just the circle with the F. That is the logo. That is their channel profile picture. And yet, that same F will appear in thumbnails and will appear in the banner, but it is not the focus. But it's still there just for branding. So, there you have it. And there you go, some nice logo tips for your channel from yours truly. Do you have any other suggestions of what you want me to make in Photopea? It can be anything from thumbnails, more banners, or even as specific as please no Fortnite thumbnails. But thank you all for watching Freedom Flash Fridays. My name, of course, is Voya, and I will see you all next week.